What was the reason you were taking the amitriptyline? I just started it, it to help me sleep more. Mm -hmm. I really didn't realize until I started, you know, talking about it, that it was probably aggravating some of my symptoms. For instance, I have problems swallowing, and I have um, um, a post-nasal drip, and I have a very, very hard time with a dry mouth. And I've increased the um, amitriptyline because I've had more trouble sleeping, and from that I've had, um, I found I've had constipation and trouble can I use the word peeing? Peeing. I feel I need to go, I want to go, but it takes me, sometimes it takes me ages to actually be able to go when I'm in the washroom. And what's the difficulty you've had that the speech therapist describes? It's, it's hard sometimes when I'm, I'm eating a meal at night or, or during the day. Um, I just have to stop and really physically swallow. Had you made any connection to the, the dryness in your mouth and the fact you were taking a, a drug every day? No, absolutely not. What was your own explanation of why it was so difficult to urinate? I, I didn't understand it. I knew that there was something happening because I didn't ever have that problem before. And what about your bowel movements? Um, since I have increased the uh, amitriptyline, um, it's, it's been um, just like little pellets. When you took it as a sleeping pill, would, would you expect in your own mind's eye that it, uh, you take it and by morning it's gone, or how, how do you conceive of a sleeping pill? I just feel that it helps me sleep, and when I get up in the morning, the effects have worn off. I see. And do you think that's the case or not? Yes. Okay. Why did you keep taking it then if it wasn't helping? Because I thought I'd be in a worse state if I stopped it. <laughs>